in fact, we are now at that Hail Mary moment, you know. This is the time to throw that pass because the clock is ticking and we don't have lots of time. Whether you look at the next Wall Street crash, because I hate to break it to you, but the Dodd-Frank Act did not do the trick. The banks are bigger than ever, more corrupt than ever, more prone to fail than ever. So whether it's the next Wall Street crash, whether it is the health care that you cannot afford under Obamacare, which we called Romney Care in my home state, where you are not covered and the costs for everyday people have basically doubled under this privatization scheme. Um, whether you are looking at the crash of the climate, because, you know, it was 120 some degrees yesterday in India and people are falling like flies. We cannot sustain this. We are in the hottest month of the hottest year on record in terms of the accelerating um, temperatures. Yes, well, in fact, I think it's every month of this year has set a new record for that month. So it's just astounding. And I don't know if you heard the news coming out of Antarctica two weeks ago. This was not covered by the media. You had to be reading the insurance industry's professional journals to know about this. They're the one uh, source that reported it because a senior scientist from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, showed up <coughs> excuse me, at their conference and gave the news which she described as an oh my god report. And what this oh my god report did was validate basically what Jim Hansen said a year ago, but it moved the date a little closer. And what it said was, on the trajectory we're on, we can expect nine feet of sea level rise by 2050. Now, many of us in this room, and I plan to be one of them, are going to be here in 2050. So this is not a world we can live in. What does nine feet of sea level rise mean? Well, it basically means um, it's like Pearl Harbor, but many, many, many times over. It's not only every port, it's every population center, it's every nuclear power plant located along the coast. It means about two dozen Fukushimas happening along our coasts. And you know what? If we're going to decommission those nuclear power plants, we have to start now. We have no business, no business whatsoever building nuclear power in an age of climate change. When you have drought and you have flood and you have unexpected weather, it's time to put them all to bed immediately. <laughs> So the clock is ticking. This is that Hail Mary moment. This is the time to stand up. Democracy needs a moral compass. It doesn't exist in a vacuum. You cannot get where you want to go by just being against the bad guys out there. You gotta be for something.